This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. You converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Today's show reminds me of a song by Tarus Riley. It's called Don't Come Back. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to tell us signs that that person is not going to come back. Yes, and picking up from that person who is saying emotively, don't come back. That, 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 that emotive appeal also shows that you are struggling yourself. Oh. Instead of telling people, don't come back, you should tell yourself, I will not let you back. Okay. You should take back to you, back power to yourself. Ah. Many people say, why does she keep coming back and going again, coming back? Why do you keep opening the door? I know. It's, it's, you, allow, you allow it. Yeah. We say the games will continue for as long as you continue to play. If you want to get games to stop you, stop playing. <laughs> it's difficult on your side when somebody is tickling those feelings and you used yes. to have and they know your sweet spots. And today I want to tell you how to know that person is gone so that you also move on. <laughs> Are you saying that in this case, I don't want to move on or I have hopes, like maybe I'm telling you to go, but I'm hoping that... You fight. <laughs> you know, mm. Lily, people who have had a deep love for each other or deep experience can remain in a little dance of back and forth yes. until the prime seasons are consumed. Yes. Haven't you seen people who are just nowhere? They started... They started disintegrating in 2013. <laughs> uh -huh. And they are in that quagmire, on, off, on, off. And one of them usually goes, have some life, comes back. Yeah. The other, and, 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 and this one has buried themselves and usually replaced with work or alcohol or something. Or charged. other relationships. Yes. But back and forth. Mm. Today we are trying to advise the sincere person. Mm -hmm. Or the one who is struggling more yeah. to let go. Okay. The person with whom you create a child, for example, mm -hmm. that child can create such a deep emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. You know they resemble that person or you remember them with that person. That part can be very deep. Mm -hmm. And to plow yourself out of it is a lot of work. If you are helping another person, advising them, journeying them out, it may be easier. But when you have to advise yourself, journeying yourself out, mm. there is conflict of interest. Your heart and your mind are fighting. Yeah. Your heart wants to feel good. Mm. Your heart doesn't want to have to detach. Mm. Your mind knows that's the right thing. Yeah. So the, the, the war within, that book called The Enemy Within, mm -hmm. that war within takes so much energy. Yeah. Just as it is hard to take a cane and whip yourself. You are the one to wield the, and you are the one to wield the pain. Yeah. So th th that delicacy <laughs> there yeah. is. Yeah. And or if they, you already fear injections, then they ask you to inject yourself. <laughs> when you're already afraid of injection. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you start saying, the needle got lost. <laughs> you it know, got lost. It's, it's, yeah. it's just that conflict of having to do what you know to be right, yet what your heart is feeling towards this person is what yeah. we are trying to help you with it today. Yeah. And you may never, a year goes when you're waiting, you know they will call. You know they will reach out. You know they will send a person. Yeah. You are checking their online. You know, and then you inbox. Then this one replies. <laughs> Some of the hardest exercises is to block a person you like. Yes. It's to close, to burn bridges when you want to go back. <laughs> and then I think what even complicates it is if they are not pestering you. So that's not an outright reason to yes. block them. You know, some of these people are not bad. Yeah, they just come once every six months. You know. Yeah, and you're like, I don't, I don't know when they'll come next, but I don't want. And you go back there. Yeah. You start climbing again. Yeah. You know, energetically you're taking ah. so low. Yeah. To a crashing rock bottom. Yeah, yeah. And you know very well this one. I swear, I swear, I swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> you know. Until 
uh, the moments come back again. There are some things once you see with that person, you should give, your, give yourself a permission to also move on. And one of them is if they don't leave to any other relationship, they leave to be with themselves. Anytime a person uses another one to boomerang and swing away, once that one goes, they'll swing back. Ah. Any motivation that is coming from outside is not sustainable. Mm. If a person dates this to leave you, they're not serious. They'll come back. They'll start calling again. People who leave jumping to these people, and we're not talking about unconscious people who are always mm. jumping from relationship to relationship. Yeah, they're those. They're people who can't exist by themselves. Mm. And after that one, they go to the next one. If you're talking about a person who had a real thing, and mm -hmm. you could tell this had a lot of depth, mm -hmm. this was viable, so mm -hmm. some relationship broke because we're not viable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're not sustainable. Yeah. The people did not have what it takes. Yes. They were just not aligned. Some people are good people, mm -hmm. but they're not good for each other. Mm -hmm. Other people are not good people for anyone. <laughs> yes. They don't have faithfulness. Yeah. They're not capable. And one lady told me, dating this guy, oh, I don't know how long he's been now. Uh, he keeps going back to the lady he has a baby mama with. Sometimes he disappears. I'm the one to call. And I'm, 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 I'm wondering, now he's in, listing inconsistencies there. Mm. He says you call, he doesn't call. He stands me up, doesn't show up. I'm also a single mother, but I'm not anymore with a baby daddy. I've already cleared my what? life. I don't know what I did wrong. And I said, have you sleeping with him? Yes. So, you know, I ask people. <laughs> <laughs> because whenever you hear grown-up explaining things that are not logical, they yeah. are always psychological. Yo. When the problem is not logical, most of the time it is psychological. So, why are you confusing yourself with sex and claiming not to understand what is going on? Because many people, after getting a child, they, they behave like sex is not a big thing. Yeah. So, if you start, I, I, and this one man, mantra with men, something we say in a, in a men camp, mm -hmm. that when you remove sex, you realize how empty many women are. When you remove the sex, realize how little she can't even sustain a conversation. Can't even challenge your thinking. Cannot add ideas. She's not even a reader. She's not even curious about life. She has not even traveled from her insecurities and fears and past wounds and her exes and the father wounds and mother bitterness and anger, short temper and impatience and fear and desperation, fear of loneliness. They are carrying a mountain of garbage. But because you're in, in, distracted by sex. Some of the women men are sleeping with, they can't trust her to be the mother to his child. But he's already dropping his seeds there because of feelings. Yeah. They're so lacking <coughs> in just maturity. And the more pretty she is, the more you must look. Because many of pretty women have made the prettiness the premium. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Women who are sparkling already from first standing out among all and standing out, among, you must now look closer. Mm -hmm. She was pressed from the time she was young until she thought her beauty is the only thing. Mm -hmm. My lecturer came from a family of learned people. All of them, the lowest was masters, the lowest. Wow. But the one who, who did not go anywhere in school was the prettiest. She didn't think she needed to do anything more because she was praised for her charms from yeah. the time she started. Yeah. And she became a very toxic character. She feels entitled to a good life, and she's not working to earn it. Yeah. She's, she said, the rest of us were just more directly. Compared to her, we were nothing. We worked in school to compensate. <laughs> <laughs> this girl would get attention for free. Yeah. Affection for free. Yes. Standout for free. Yes. Why struggle with the math when I just need to apply this and that and um. <laughs> I tell you, why struggle with math? Yes. All these algebraic calculus. <laughs> For what? <laughs> when she can just sit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that phenomenon is there with a lot of women? They learned they're pretty and they got comfortable. Mm -hmm. It takes double work. There's a woman, a lady who told me she was being called 0.5. Mm -hmm. The father was Japanese. <laughs> the mm -hmm. mother was African. Mm -hmm. I just said, ask 0.5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
slang for hybrid. Yes. <laughs> Cross. <laughs> So she said, because you have this skin tone of a Japanese and the shape of African, you're just exotic thing. Yeah. So people... <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. Exotic. <laughs> Rare. <laughs> you know. Hybrid. She said, my hair was all this. And so people just mesmerized by me. And she said, do you know I have to work against current? I feel like sometimes I'm swimming upstream to just work in school, get earn my grades. People yeah. are offering me free grades. I want to work. What oh. do you want to give me favors? She said, it, it, I worked double. Other guys could study and get marked on merit. Me, <laughs> and people are dreaming, yeah. a beautiful guy like you, why are you struggling? <laughs> mm. But human being, I need to earn my way. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. She told me, when you see pretty girls, as 0.5 in particular, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who crumble in life because we bought into the lie that oh. our beauty was enough. Yeah, yeah. Men are not aware that many women, particularly the young and naive, or just those who are dull-minded, Sorry. Yeah, Benjamin. <laughs> Some don't think. That's savage. They just don't think. You see, a guy contacted me saying, I don't know, he's 28, the lady, I don't know, 26. I've been dating for six years, but nowadays there's no affection. I'm the only one who initiates. She doesn't call. When she's talking to other people, she's all over happy. But when I'm talking, she's just there. Now we're about to visit home. I'm oh. wondering. Ba, 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 <laughs> and they write tiring paragraphs. <laughs> Avoiding the obvious mistake. Why don't you start with it? So that at least we can go to solutions. Yeah. You have wasted your youth creating an entanglement, indulging premarital sex instead of growing, learning discipline, and coming to date the person who, wins, who fits where you are going, not where you are coming from. This person is for the youthful infatuations and the lust that characterize your 22 year old youth. <sighs> she is coming from the mountains of energy one day to flood. Not the sober life you want to live. That's so powerful. You know, a 22 year old is bunny like a volcano. You're just 22, full of erection. Just the organ between your legs. If your life does not have direction, only has erection. Now, look at what you brought. <laughs> now you're asking why it's not working. <laughs> Honestly. The language of delayed gratification, self control, and that's how many of them get married. And look, you're about to sign into paper something that's already dead. Trying to keep promising you made promises you made when you were drunk with the last when you were too young and naive and silly. And now here you are trying to sign your life away. And you pretend like you don't know what you did wrong because you have rationalized. Oh that, that age is only a number. Oh doesn't matter. Oh guess what? Oh life has no formula. Ah, oh, why are you coming to me? Admit <laughs> Yeah. And start by that mission. You know? Yeah. And many men know. So that's a very dull a woman is not thinking. She mm. lost more than him, mm. but she's not aiming high. That's the that's the difference. Mm. Many people are not aiming high, so even when they hit nothing, they're okay. Yeah. Did, did you employ somebody paid them small money wages for the day? Tomorrow they don't shop because they're drinking the one you paid yesterday. So yeah. <laughs> you are more disturbed than them. Yeah. <laughs> they are aiming so low. Even when they are low, they are, they are satisfied. <laughs> I, I once lived somewhere. The house had electrical problems. Which is bad because you keep calling uh, electricians all the time. But then also the electricians who I would be introduced to, they would come say, oh, I need a socket, I need this. Can you give me money? I go buy for you. Then if I give them money, they'll go and come back drunk. So they bought a substandard item. To drink the difference. And I'm like, no wonder this whole exactly. place has electrical problems. I just exactly. moved from the whole place exactly. to a new place. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And you realize the problem can be fixed. It was not impossible to fix. Yes. So we are coming, we are coming from a place where we are trying to teach you when a person has left. Mm -hmm. to be with themselves. Yeah. You know they're trying to reinvent who they are. Lily, let me remind you. If you do not experience the second birth, the first birth is natural, you have a birthday. The second birth, so you're born twice. Mm -hmm. The day you are born and the day you find out why. Mm -hmm. So this second birth of why am I on earth? To unveil and bring out your best version, the mature, wow. the seasoned, the engaged, yes. the enlightened, the curious, the asking, the seeking, the knocking, the asking you. Yes. That journey 
We said the minimum is five years. Anybody who attempted it realized it was a mountain and they stayed at it until they could say, this is my way in the world, I don't want this. Until you can say no to your relatives, your cousins, your parents, when you're grown, when you're a mature yeah. parent, when you're a mature person. And you can say yes to what you want and no to what you don't want. The uh, ex-wife of Elon Musk said one thing he can steal to the world from that man. Is that he said, he said no so much because he had such a conviction to what he wanted to say yes to. He had such a strong yes. Wow. It was so easy for him to say no to the world. Oh my goodness. And say, I saw a man who was very unidirectional. There are some of you are philandering all over, meandering, trying this, trying that. Yeah. That guy, even if he's wrong, he's determined. And he could say no to everything, to say yes to this. Even things that were alluring and rewarding in the short term. Yeah. Many of us are picking jobs that are better paying, not jobs that are align, aligning to where mm. we are going. Mm. We are controlled by scarcity. Anybody paying a higher check, you jump, you go there. Yeah. You jump, you go there. If I was the devil, what would be the easiest way to keep you moving in circles? Pay better to move the wrong direction. Pay better, move the wrong, pay better, move the direction. To keep you meandering, than running after Mirage. Mirage. That cartoon I saw, how we run the grave is here, written the end, rest in peace. But in here, they're dangling a carrot of money. Carrot. So that you're running after the. And, it, and your racing is like a treadmill. Treadmill, yeah. treadmill. By the time you lay hold of the carrot, you're also falling into the grave, rest in peace. That second birth of finding out why you are not is what allows you to say no to better jobs because they're not aligned to where I'm going. Can I remind you that millionaires said no to better money because they knew what they were watering yes. was what would finally reward them. Yes. But how many people can say no to better money? How many people can say no to free money? <coughs> yeah. Corruption. Corruption corrupts your path. Mm. It's not just the person you're stealing from. It's also that you're corrupting the integrity within you. We yes. tend to forget that part. Eh? Yes. You think you're stealing from the employer, eh? Yeah. You're also stealing from your honesty, your character, mm. your determination. And once your will can no longer respect your word, because it has seen you cheat the way, cut shortcuts, deceive, keep secrets, you lose the willpower to assert yourself in a path. In a, because you will be questioned. Your character will be tested. Your honesty will be tested. When you don't have belief in who you are and the consistency in keeping your word to yourself, you can't even stand in front of that judgment seat of why are you worthy to ask for this. Wow. You will feel challenged. Why? Why are you? Who are you to ask? You want to be a millionaire? Say, so says who? Want to build a plane plot? Want to purchase this? Who are you? Begin this. Wow, wow, wow. Why would anybody believe you? You don't have enough money. Don't show up for that negotiation. You can't afford it. Stay away. This is not for you. Go, go back. You know, it's like those demons who told the sons of Skiva. <laughs> we don't know you. <laughs> Paul we know and Jesus we know. Because yeah. come out in the name of Jesus who Paul preaches. Paul we know and Jesus we know. But who are you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Our will does that sometimes yes. to us. You have an inner critic who is very... <laughs> Be careful you are inner critic. Because they know everything. Oh my. <laughs> no, you can't hide anything from them. Yeah. Uriah, when he was drunk, he was more honest than David when he was sober. David was drunk with the last Uriah, was drunk with alcohol. Now you know which one is better to be drunk with. And uh, you should not be drunk, but if you must. <laughs> 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 and when they made a movie about story, David said, nobody, nobody will know. And Uriah said, I will know. Yeah. There's no secret with your conscience. So, why you take that journey to come and become one with yourself? Yeah. And say, I think, therefore I am. Uh -huh. That part, until you awaken to it, you will reach any age still very mature and unawakened. Any age, even at 50 or 60. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Some people say, I can only date a man who is in his 40s or 50s because I need a mature man. Until you find someone who is in their 40s and 50s. Yes. There's a place for biological growth and for most men is that and beyond. From 30, yeah. that man is on his own background. Yeah. If he is a fool, he has made his own so a fool. Yes. <laughs> he is wise and made his own wise. Yeah. But if he's a 24-year-old boy, don't call him mama, a man. Just say he's growing well. Just say he's a compliment him <laughs> that he's upcoming. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. it's not yet a man. Okay. All right? Okay. Just like children, you give them room to grow. You don't yeah. overburden them just because they're growing well. This is a kid yeah. in class three. Don't buy them a serious bench just because they're very... No, not the age. So there's a place for age. Don't okay. throw age out of it. You wouldn't do that with your son. Why are you doing it yeah. with grown-ups? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He's growing very well, but still. 
uh, still small for that. Yeah. A time will come, not now. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a biological stage. Yeah. But for most men, past 30, judge him for who he is. Okay. For women, past 25, judge her for who she is. Mm. Psychologically, we all reach at 25. But men grow slower. Mm. Their job is so heavy because it is leadership. But leadership is not natural. <laughs> It takes a lot of self, yeah. self journey yeah. to take leadership, take risks, and cover and be. Come home every day. <laughs> <laughs> come home. Yeah. It's easier to stay away and run. Yeah. And if you land and move around. Mm. So if a person has moved away and they have immersed themselves in seminars, in therapy, and you can only see them posting materials of learning and mm. books, you can laugh at them. And you're not saying everybody who says on that path may not backslide some may mm -hmm. backslide mm -hmm. but anybody who went back so just consuming talk shows and implementing things they're hearing there yeah that is not loud i want to warn you about this because it's not praised by the world mm -hmm. people want kuagana kurudi soko go to another relationship post it show them you're in this one yeah a lot of times when people that guy was fantasizing a person without measuring where he is versus where that person is yeah as much as you should be the motivational speaker told you to believe anything. You should also measure. <laughs> you don't want us to believe everything. You know, the people showed a, a baboon trying to kill a lion. They said, whatever the motivational speaker told this baboon. <laughs> so you should also measure the distance <laughs> between you and the person. What happens with that person who dives themselves in learning and in healing, in doing inner work? They are creating distance between the two of you. Emotional and energetic distance. Mm -hmm. Energy is everything in this world. Mm -hmm. Energy is everything. You can meet the same lady you met five years, but now she's almost unrecognizable. Same body, same looks. Mm. But have you, her opinions, what she finds funny, what she laughs at, what she responds to, what she's interested, how she moves, mm. what she invests in, where she, what she buys, what she wears, how she walks. Ah, no similarity at all. Mm. Because of what she went in to work on herself. You know, when you evolve, the new version also brings new appetites. Your attractions yes. change. 100%. The, the, the type. Your yes. type is not your type anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your old type is not your type <laughs> you anymore. Know, now you're impressed by other things. In, the, in, in, in fact, the physique is coming at the last bottom five. When you're listing the things you want. Yeah. You just want a person who's just happy with the life. Funny. Now you're describing things that are not tangible. Yeah. <laughs> Intelligent. You know. Yeah. Can we engage? Is it intriguing to yeah. just discuss with this person? Yes. Can you want a person who brings ideas that are just new? Yes. I loved that among my girl, she could invent an idea. A new direction that was very fresh. Because it also takes mental work to really research. Yeah. Brainstorm mm. things through. Mm. A person who sits down to evaluate a situation, draw arrows possible. You know, I was thinking, what if we approach it this That's it. Let's yeah. go. Th that's better than anything we had. Let's ride with that. Yeah. You want a person who can engage you that way. Yeah. Not a person who just waits for you, for you. They can say yes, 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 and you get bored. Yeah. <laughs> yes, what a person who challenges you with a fresh perspective. If a person leaves, but you see them diving inside, be afraid. That person is not coming back. You should do like them. You should also dive inside. Yes. You should get in yes. and start questioning why do I keep repeating this and that yeah. and then the second thing I want you to be careful with is when they join new communities our mm -hmm. environment changes us so much the texture of who we are and where we are headed is affected by the group we are working among wow. the texture in fact when you describe the way of a, a changed man in someone you say blessed is that person does not walk yes and sit and stand. It was where the company this person keeps. Yes. That was the description of a righteous person. If you see a person who begins to move around, sit among, in front of, converse, like read this, that person has begun their journey. Mm. The first sign when they started doing inner work showed you they're creating distance. The second sign is that they're creating a new momentum. They're headed a new direction. Mm -hmm. You may see them physically, but you never reach them again. Wow. The ideas floating in their head, the aspirations and the goals and what they define as good life is changing. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah. When a person begins to consume this author, listen to this thinker. Connect with this inspirational speaker. Reason, resonate with this kind of a thinker. That person's mind is totally getting changed. This also, we have seen it apply when people are following the wrong thinkers. They, be, they mm -hmm. begin to think so irrational. Mm. We know it about our mothers at home. They join funny cultic churches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our parents, even fathers. And then you, 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 you can't help them. You buy, you send them money, they take care of it. Yeah. Shopping, take care of They become very difficult. Yeah. They're your parents, but they have joined a system of thought, school yeah. of thought, yeah. that is so awkward, yeah. but they are convinced. This principle applies when a person goes to a progressive school of thought, wow. where they're being told you can do it. Just believe wow. and attempt. Go out. The moment I can get you to think different, I can get you to be different. Yeah. Thinking, then being, mm. then behaving. Because behavior is the last thing. People wait for it and it's coming so late in the day. Yeah. It's when people begin to take in new ideas, new possibilities, new belief, and then they begin to be that. Mm. I am. So they start, I think, then they come, I am, then I do. Mm. So the I do's, I get to date this kind of person. This is what I accept. This is my bare minimum. This is what mm. I'm. This is what I want. This is what my aspiration is coming after a person changed how they think. Mm. The, the 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 message here is, when you see a person who just shifts where where the groupings they are going to, mm. the people they are talking to, yeah. Calm your heart and move on. Also, you find another community. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And let me console you. It may feel like a reaping when you have to let go of a person you really had a lot of hopes for. Yeah. But no, I will surprise you that that love you feel is within you. It's not within that person. You can find another person and love you even deeper. Love them yes. even deeper than you love this person. If you have the capacity to love, you can love another person. Always the, make that your mantra. Your love did not go with the one who went. They remained with you. I can never love again. There's somebody who, who broke up with someone else and he said, I can never believe in love again. <laughs> yes, you are just hurting yourself. You're supposed to say, it was love we were sharing and now we can't share it anymore. I'll share it as well. It may not be immediately, but eventually. I'll appreciate myself first. There's something that radiates stronger than physical beauty. Mm -hmm. Confidence. Woo. When Woo. you can restore your confidence, Men don't know why you're attractive. They just don't know. But you're just, you seem slightly absorbed in yourself. Yeah, yeah. And instead of wondering, ah, oh, does he like me? You're wondering, do I like him? <laughs> exactly. Ooh. So you put a burden on them to impress you. Yes. You transfer, the, 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 <laughs> you know. But you, you see very average looking women. Yeah. Desired by men so powerfully. Yeah. Because they're not easy. Yes. Even hard. you know, when they, they sit the way I'm sitting. Yeah. Waiting to see what is it about you. Yeah. Okay, and tell me about yourself. Yeah. If you wake up and go, she just sips her coffee. Is that the moment? Oh, I wonder, did I lose it? <laughs> that kind of person radiates. And we're not talking about narcissistic, non caring, no? Yeah. We're talking about a person who is at peace in their skin. Yeah. That kind of person, even when they drive, they walk on the road, they walk into a mall, they draw attention. They look mysterious as if they know something about themselves that you, that, that you don't know. <laughs> you want to find out. Yeah. So men want to conquer that kind of woman. That's very mesmerizing. Okay. I hinted to the other time that people think in order to be pleasurable in bed, you should learn weird techniques, how to be on rooftop, how to do those things underwater. Please don't choke yourself. Don't drown. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't drown. Please, we need your life. <laughs> I tell you something else. <laughs> please, underwater. Please, please. <laughs> we want you around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had accidents. <laughs> so, yeah. the thing that makes you unforgettable mm -hmm. is how, where you vibrate from. So that for a man to be with you, it feels like, this is the world. You are just not easy. Neither are you just playing hard to get. You mm. just vibrate on such a high height yeah. that he feels special to access you. That is what makes you memorable. Sex is more mental than it is physical, okay? Yes. Physical is a girl ever, okay? The engine is also that. So the engine is a mind. <laughs> I love that.
That's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Not obsessed with Galilas. <laughs> Never obsessed with Galilas. I know. We are like, uh, women after bath should sit in a, you know, bleach. Don't, don't go too far. Yeah. Think about the engine capacity. So the capacity of the engine <laughs> yeah. is how high you radiate on, how confident you are, your self-esteem, your self-belief. And I want you to be something of a princess or slightly a goddess. Woo! Who believes that the way you radiate will heal this man? The way you believe in him will uplift him. Yes. Just the way you let him be in your life will give him confidence. And the way you give your all to him, that is what will give him larger than life feeling. Yes. Not theatrics. If you want to be a gymnast, go and try gym. <laughs> <laughs> These other things, just be realistic with them. Yeah. And be modest. Modest. Mm hmm that's what makes it look like you believe in yourself and you you have death when you try too hard you're communicating insecurities mm. you're not sure you don't try too hard mm. so we're saying when you see a person who has taken a, a different community you too build a different community yes oh, i didn't want that show to end <laughs> oh you always catch me off guard okay <laughs> <laughs> that was a good show. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let me read from before you say I do. You're saying don't play hard. Don't play the hard to get game with serious people. A lot of women who play immature games of hard to get use the excuse. If a man wants you, nothing will stop him. This is nonsense. Your attitude will. I think you should say a little about that. Yes. Your attitude will stop a, a good meaning man. Because as we said, well, um, loaded men can't get obsessed with you because they have options. Uh -huh. Quality men who have character, honesty, future dreams, they want to have a dialogue with you. To yeah. see that we are lying. Yeah. They hope you too are searching. People who chase you down feverishly are usually just after your body. People want your soul, lifetime, they want to see that we are lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want as much dialogue as possible. But yes. if you are shutting down dialogue, acting disinterested, yeah. they, will get, they will take the message as a sincere one. Yes. That you are not there yet. Yes. And they won't even hate you. Yeah. They just say, I sell, I will say, I'm not selling. Thank you. Yeah. And, and they move on to check elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, why did he stop calling? Oh, why is not acting? Oh, he's not. Oh, what happened? What did I do? You just showed no interest. And like a gentleman, I don't force agendas. Exactly. If I force, will I sustain it? Yeah. And again, I also want you to be crazy about me. Yes. I don't want you to be, okay, you, you know, you're the one who talked me into the idea. No. Mm -mm. I want it should be pass. mutual. Yes. Yes, he's a pursuer, he's a leader, but he doesn't want to introduce an idea that you're not ready for. He wants a woman who's prepared. Because again, he's enrolling you for a very heavy task. Yes. He wants you to have the capacity to do that heavy lifting. Yeah. Yes. This is a beautiful book. If you're not married, um, please don't get married before you read, before you say I do. Get it on www.benjaminzuluglobal.com alongside with all his other work. You can also book a session with him. I know many of you want to meet him personally. That's where you can interact with him. Thank you for watching. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart Mothers. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, 